Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while, I hope you're doing good. So I wanted to share with you my experience and the preparation that I took to prepare for my private pilot license theory exam. So we'll jump straight into it, let's go. All right, so we're gonna cover a few questions that a student pilot might have. The first one we're gonna cover, is the theory exam hard? I wouldn't say it's hard, it can be challenging because you're studying a range of different topics. However, if you set yourself a good timetable, you put in the work, you put in the time, you'll be fine. So how long did I study for? I self-studied this theory exam. I did it at home full time for two to three weeks. It required a lot of discipline and motivation to learn the content. So what subjects did I cover to prepare for the exam? So the first one we're going to speak about is meteorology. So understanding how to read and understand your terminal area forecast, known as TAPS, your geographical area forecast, knowing your VMC requirements and also your alternate requirements. Navigation, so understanding your 1 in 60s, making sure you know the formula, which is distance off track times 60 divided by distance traveled. Understand how to calculate your track error, your closing angle, and your track to intercept. Then there is aerodynamics, human factors, air law, aircraft performance and loading, and aircraft general knowledge. So make sure you cover all these subjects and try your best to understand them. So what materials and resources did I use to prepare for the exam? So I used the Bob Tape books, which were excellent. The first one I'm going to show you is the RPL Fury book. And then the TPL Fury book. Make sure you use both to prepare for the exam. The versions that I have are from 2015. There is a newer version from 2018, which I would recommend you getting, so you just have the most up-to-date information. The second thing I would like to show you are my maps. So these are known as WACs, World Aeronautical Charts. You should have three of them. The first one being Sydney, Burke, and Townsville. Make sure you know where certain destinations are, so as soon as you open your map, you know where to find them and it'll save you a bit of time. A ruler to measure your distance in nautical miles and your protractor to measure your track. I also have a flight computer which is the E6B version. It allows you to calculate your distance, your time, your fuel, your density height, your true airspeed, so make sure you know how to use it. A calculator to help you do your calculations and use it as a cross check to your flight computer. Also the VFRG known as the Visual Flight Rules Guide. This is a mini version of the AIP which is the Aeronautical Information Publication. I also downloaded the version of the URSA on my tablet, that's the En Route Supplement Australia, and it just provides you with details of the aerodromes around Australia, such as the elevation of the field, the frequencies of ground, tower, sea TAF. It also gives you the runways that they're using, and also the length of the runway, and many other things. So make sure you have all of this to help you prepare. A couple of other things that I did use is the Bob Tate practice exams. So I got four exams in total, three of them being untimed, which I could do in my own time, and then the last one being timed to simulate the actual exam. I also signed up to PBE, which is pilot practice exams. I also did the practice exams on there. Um, so where, what I'm getting at is do as many exams as you can. The more you do, the more comfortable you'll feel and you'll familiarize yourself with the sort of questions you could expect to get in your actual exam. So I'm gonna put everything in the description box below. I hope it's useful to you and it helps 
So check them out. So my tips for you would be have the right attitude, enjoy learning the content, have fun with it, and don't put too much pressure on yourself. Set yourself a timetable and also a goal of when you would like the exam to be done by. This will help you maintain your motivation and the discipline that you need to study the content. Cover all subjects until you have a very good understanding of it. If you don't have a good understanding of it, go back to it and focus more on that. Focus more on what you don't know than what you do know. Don't be scared of the exam because you are more than capable of doing it. If other people have done it before you, why not you? So make sure you get stuck in and good luck with it. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I wish you all the very best with your exam coming up. And if you have already completed it, congratulations. That's a really great achievement. And I wish you all the best for your future studies in the CPL theory exams. If you do have any questions for me, just leave it in the comments below. Or feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at Santiago.eros. I'll see you guys in the next video. And make sure you live your best life. Vamos!